said a moment ago that we dream, we hope we dream to be more news. Dot com. But maybe I, I was, I was too fast with that. Maybe I needed to start off by saying we first need to, to dream. Many of us have come through some very difficult times. People talk about wealth and establishing wealth. If you look to your right and look to your left, somebody at your table not long ago had a parent or a grandparent that was struggling just to survive. Some of you at the table struggling today. So wealth was not something on our agenda. We were caught up in how do I get from day to day? How do I survive? How do I feed my children? I'm not so much worried about saving. I'm just I'm just trying to worry about getting to tomorrow. How do I pay the rent? In my neighborhood, we used to have rent parties. Yeah. Not only did we have rent parties, but we used to have funeral parties because they couldn't bury them after they died. Come on, don't act like y'all don't know what I'm talking about. And so we got into a we got to a point where we were not dreaming with regard to wealth because we were in survival mode. And then and so now, ladies and gentlemen, then, then another thing happened. On the way to success, many of us got caught up with trying to keep up with the Joneses. And trying to impress other people. Now, I live in the inner city. I live on Madison Avenue. I live on the Do the Right Thing block. And uh, this, this is not bragging, right? But my, I have, a, I have two floors, and then I have, a, I have, I live on the first and second floor, then I have a tenant. My tenant pays my mortgage. Period. Pays my mortgage. I don't pay a mortgage. And the reason why I say that is at some point we've got to begin to try to figure out how do we own something so that we can reap the benefits. My, my mother, and I'm just thinking, I'm just talking over the top of my head, and this is not brand, this is what we need to be doing. I look at my mother, my mother lives in a house where she pays probably anything because it was paid for 25 years ago. So she's able to live out her 82 years now with a level of peace. I mean, think about this. But then when I go to our senior citizens' houses, I see people that they grew up with me. Don't have a pot? Come on now. I know y'all are nine on here. I know y'all are all over there. But that's... But what I'm saying to you is, is, at some point, we have to dream. And we, some kind of way, if we are going to accumulate wealth, we have got to get away from this Jones' thing. Yeah. Right. Now, 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 I, 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 I drive an Avio, a veil, whatever, I, I sound like some French stuff to me, but it's a little car. And my boy, on my block, on Madison Avenue, they always chuckling on me. Hey, Cousin, what you doing with that little car, man? Come on, man. Oh, all right. But they don't realize that I drive a small car to save gas so I can send my daughter in three years to Howard University. The money that I save on the gas will send her through college. Literally. Literally. 